Welcome to Silverstone, welcome to the Wing Building. Are you excited to be here? Yeah. There we go, oh, that's better. That was really enthusiastic, fantastic. You've all done incredibly well to get here. You're representing your regions. You are the creme de la creme of the UK. Whatever happens to this point forward, you've done yourselves and the schools incredibly proud. So well done for that. This is obviously the UK national final. Think about how much further this could take you. Jaguar Land Rover run these programmes because we want to inspire and look for future engineers. It's fantastic to look out, out here at all these exciting faces. You think you've done the hard work, this is the hard work now, today. And of course, the winners from today are going to go to the World Finals, which is going to be fantastic. I wish you all of the best, all the best for that. And uh, please do your best today, but most of all, enjoy it. I hope you go away today feeling really excited, really inspired, so you can think about what your careers are going to be going forward. Yeah, my name is Pete Wood and I work for RS Components and I look after our engineering community called Design Spark. So it's great to see so many young, budding British engineers here today. And over, I think it was last week, we ran a competition on our Raspberry Pi Society page on Facebook, for which we got all of you guys to send a picture of your vehicles. And it was basically a beauty contest, the best looking one with the most number of likes won. And so I'm here to announce the winners. And uh, without further ado, am I pointing? The winner is the Healing School. Congratulations. Can we have you up here please and we'll give you your prize. Just enough to go on. There we go. That's it. Thank you. Oh, what's that coming to? So the, uh, the Land Rover 4x4 in Schools Technology Challenge has been running now for 12 years uh, in its current form with uh, Land Rover its title partner for four years now and uh, internationally we've been running it for two years. Yeah, we've had over 100 schools involved in the challenge this year so we held six regional finals and in total about uh, 75 schools took part. I am Joy Merriweather, I'm the team manager of the Docks. We are from Wood Farm High School and we're just going to talk about our car with our Raspberry Pi in it. We are the Healing Roadrunners and we represent Healing School. Um, our name is the Pink Dragons and we come from Webster's High School up in Cremier. We are Barney 4x4 and we are Barney Castle School. We represent um, Our team name is Pink Lemonade and we represent the Pro Academy as So we're Team Dimension and we're from Break National. It's a wonderful opportunity for RS to be involved with such a fantastic organisation and initiative. Seeing what these children are coming out with is it's phenomenal. I've just um, looked at all the uh, project management portfolios and how they've worked on their projects, their business plan, their brief, uh, their concept design evaluation and some of the outputs phenomenal. What they've done is it's not just good for impressive for a child, it's impressive for a student, it's impressive for an adult, it's, it's wonderful. Well the challenge offers so much to students, obviously they're working in a team of six, so they'll all have different strengths, they'll be a team manager, they'll be uh, somebody who's involved in wheel design, the electronics, the sponsorship and the marketing, resourcing and so forth. So it gives the, the school a chance to spread it right across the curriculum and for them to learn so many things about the world of manufacturing and engineering and, and basically preparing them for what we'd like to say is a world of work. So they, they work ready, they've got all the skills, they've got all the techniques that's needed by the business and industry. We deliver that to them with this challenge and they're going to go from strength to strength. And I'm the team manager and I've helped to work, make sure that everybody was doing their correct roles at the right time. And I'm the team manager and uh, I was also the manufacturing engineer so I worked on putting the car together, looking at the final result and also brainstorming. I'm the graphic designer in the team, so I drew the car, I drew the measurements and um, made it easier for Ben to put it onto the computer on the characters. 
the I was the programmer, so I made the Raspberry Pi do all the cool stuff, such as live video streaming for the Pony Car and the server side stuff. stuff and that. I was in charge of the pit display. I helped with the shell and I helped with the wheels. And I did the CAD design, so that's the chassis, wheels, tow bar, and the mould for the body. And I did the um, electronics in the car, so I made the car do four, have four wheel steering, and I worked on the motors to get it going. I used the Raspberry Pi to control the lights and tilt the sensor on our car. So I started judging back in 2011 when I joined as a graduate. I've been progressive for five years now, uh, involved in the technical committee, and also I look after Brazil, Czech Republic, and Portugal in the uh, global competition. Um, well, we started about six months before regional finals, just trying to begin with our ideas. So about we say about three months from start to finish, um, so we can then be upgraded for this competition. Um, we've been working on it since September, so I think about eight months or so. Um, but when we finished the competition last year, we went straight into it. We, uh, we knew what we were going to do and we started working on it straight away. So about a year. <laughs> Proposal initiative they can crew, they used um, continuous improvement to make their car better, perform faster, better turning, better handling, and what they've achieved is, is wonderful as we've seen on the track downstairs below. Um, my favourite part was um, the brainstorming. So I really loved coming up with ideas, thinking about how we're going to do them, how we're going to make them sustainable. So I quite like driving the car around the track. Building all the components for the car on the computer and then seeing them um, be made up of real things. Well, just the experience is really good and I quite enjoyed doing the electronics, just something I'm now interested in. What I originally thought of, my initial idea is to see it turn into the car itself. Um, I, I do electronics for GCSE, so I really love making a circuit board. I love soldering. Doing the programming and electronics for the rest of the night has been giving me an excuse to learn how to program wire. I've enjoyed learning the new skills and seeing it all come together and actually getting the results from it. What's really impressed me this year, the stand has grown tremendously. We've seen some amazing new tool centre designs, some really good tow bar designs, and just the general standard increasing dramatically and the confidence in the students. I mean, they're some of them such a young age and their passion for engineering is just incredible. And it really motivates me for when I go back to the office to you know, really work hard and, and feel privileged to be in a position I am at Jaguar Land Rover. working with people I wouldn't necessarily work with usually so it was interesting to work with a different range of people and I found that really cool. The car and modifying it and just coming here. To understand how engineering actually works, not just from looking at it from actually taking part. Um, I've enjoyed like using like your assets to help. So like I like designing and art so that's helped and it's something you wouldn't learn in the curriculum normally. I enjoyed making the computers do cool stuff so I made it talk which was amazing. I think actually the biggest thing that's struck me is their problem solving ability. I just had a conversation with a 15 year old guy and he has a problem where his car is twisting when they turn sharply and that's unsettling the car. The fact that he's talking about weight distribution, he's talking about PWM motor control, he's talking about the distance between the tracks and the suspension and the stiffness of it from a 15 year old. It's, it's wonderful. The fact that they're having that conversation the fact that they're mixing electronics with mechanical engineering, with automotive engineering, and they're accomplishing something. You know, they're being rewarded through this, they're seeing the performance um, themselves in how their car performs, in what they're outputting, and I've no doubt that this work will benefit them in the future. We're ready to go. The UK National Champions, the winner of the 4x4 in Schools Technology Challenge, in the UK for 2016 and going to our world finals is Team Ascent! Thank you.